Hi there everyone, it's Kevin from the Figure Owners Club. Oh, it's a pretty cold day today, December 2021, uh, almost Christmas. Um, so this uh, video is all about the rear view mirror. Uh, on the figgy. Uh, over the years, if, if people have been following me, uh, I've done a lot of videos about Bell uh, restoration. I've done all, all of myself, uh, obviously videoing it along the way to obviously share my knowledge and hopefully help people do the same thing. Um, this particular video, as I said, is about the, the rear view mirror and it's one element of the car that's really annoyed me over the years. I've tried and tried and tried to get a replacement one on eBay and, and it's just, they're just such silly money. Um, let me just show you what the issue is. Uh, you may have the same on your car, but if you look at it, um, so this is what we're talking about you get this a uh, very um small margin of black edging running around the mirror you may have seen it in your house as well and this according to google i did google this so the actual uh silver on the mirror is called silvering and that's obviously done with like a nickel backing uh, foil which is then uh glass is placed over the top of that and obviously that's what that's what becomes the mirror. Uh, now what happens is because it's in actually a car and it's obviously, um, you know, it's subject to moisture and all sorts, the, the nickel in the actual film um, and the oxidizes, so you get moisture between the film and the and the glass and that causes the blacking, blacking, blacking here. Uh, so you get a black edge here. Uh, now there are, you know, it's not really a lot you can do with it. I've seen people mask it and put like a little bit of silicon in it. Um, but obviously your eye tends to go straight to this and it's like really, really annoying. Um, so, okay, there is a solution uh, which has just been launched by the Figaro shop. And what they've done, uh, quite cleverly actually, they've come up with obviously um, just basically selling the glass um, section that goes actually into the mirror. So this is the same shape as what's here. So as you can see, it fits straight in there. Yep, so that's the idea. And obviously that's a brand new mirror, so that's gonna have some good life in it before it starts oxidizing and looking a bit horrible. So uh, what this video is gonna be all about is about me trying to take the mirror off. Um, they do have instructions, the Figaro shop typical of them. They, they're they really, really brilliant at this because obviously they sell a lot of parts overseas. They then get a chance to do stuff on their, you know, at their workshops in Didcot. So they produce a fantastic um, PDF and they've got all the information here about how to do the job. So, you know, we'll include this on the video as well. But, you know, I think obviously producing a video is it's quite nice and easy to watch, hopefully. In it, and uh, I can share my knowledge about it and see how easy it is to do, because the idea is you put put the whole mirror in like really hot water and then it becomes value, very malleable. And then obviously remove the old piece of glass and put the new one in. So we're going to see how that goes and uh, let's crack on. Okay, so I've got a light source in to light it all up. Let's take our little sheep off, I guess. <laughs> Typical, isn't it? What, what you have on a figgy. Um, right, so according to our forum, um, this needs to be unclipped. And I'm going to try and do it... Um, with holding the camera so to do this you need a little what they call a trim tool you can get these off of amazon pack of five for about a fiver all different shapes and sizes so obviously pushing that in there and giving it a turn i can't really do it while i'm holding the camera so i'm going to do it unclip it and then uh, carry on filming so managed to get the edging off um there we go and in here you've got three screws so i shall undo that and I guess the whole unit will come away it's quite easy okay so I'm in the workshop now here's the mirror so what it says is um, in the instructions is to fill up a container I've got this old um, toolbox um, compartment thing for putting bits and bobs in storage unit I guess you call it uh, with the duster in the bottom and um, I filled up a kettle of water so what I'm going to do is pour this in there first and I'm probably going to need a couple of these to get it to the level where it's going to be submerged. So I'm going to go and fill this up in a minute and uh, what we'll do a bit more filming. Okay, so that's two kettlefuls of water and what it says to do now is to um, submerge the mirror 
I'm a bit worried about this because it is very, very hot, but we'll go with it. There we go. So that's submerged now. And leave it like this for six to seven minutes. After which you'll start to see a gap appearing. Obviously this edging becomes very malleable. So we'll set the old um, the timer up for not that scientific this but it's probably pretty good out of Sue's kitchen um, so six minutes and we'll come back to you okay okay so that's around six minutes now <laughs> let's have a look oh it's very hot it's very hot right so there we go it says put it onto a soft cloth We're using a trimming tool what we're looking to do now is to get into a and slowly edge it out it's a bit like you remember when you were changing a a tire on your bike all them years ago i guess you can sort of get it in one place and sort of move around I'm going to get it in there. Quite tricky. It is quite tricky. Oh yeah, so in the corner. Oh well, there we go. <laughs> it's come out. And it says very quickly, put the new one in. So I'm presuming it's, there's not a lot of right and a wrong way for it, is there? No, it can't be. So, get rid of the water, I guess. Um, it does say that if you want to to heat it back up again which I think I'm going to do actually I'm going to put this back in give it a, a few more minutes because the trouble is the minute it comes out it starts obviously the plastic starts to cool down a bit so well I've got the old one out actually it's quite a bit thicker than the Figaro shop one can you see that Probably not much in it, but yeah, a little bit thicker, which which should make putting this in a little bit a little bit easier. So anyway, I'll switch the camera off and pop it back on when we're taking it back out again. Okay, it did say boil the kettle up again to uh, get the mirror back in, which is what I've done. So um, it's surprising how quickly this becomes less malleable. So. Take two, what it does say is basically you need to kind of push it in. Oh, I've got to kind of go for it. Got to be brave, give it a push. I was really worried it would sort of fracture or something, but that's in, hey, that's in. We're cooking on gas, right? Bit of fiesta tail. There's a little bit of a mark there with the um, trimming tool, but I think I can get that out. So, oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> a little bit of a clean. I'll tell you what. That's going to be lovely now looking at this looking at this because every time i went to reverse the figaro really used to bug me but now oh that looks like a brand new mirror oh look at that beautiful no edging on it that was the original it's come out so 
fantastic job the Figaro shop thumbs up to them hope you've enjoyed this video pretty easy to do boil the water up take it out give it another boil and she she went in really easy i mean obviously it just said push it in and i, I went for it i was really worried it would not snap but it didn't it's really obviously very strong and uh yeah fabulous <laughs> in my excitement i forgot to fit it back on the car so here we go that's all done now looking terrific looks really really nice the three screws pop in there and the cannon just pops on um so it's all done it's all finished um I have to remember to put the sheet back on otherwise we will be wondering where they've got to um a couple of points number one is the the glass is not an anti-dazzle glass so it's just a flat piece of glass the original glass has got like a slight wedge shape to it probably can't pick it up in the video here but it's a wedge shape and it allows obviously the the mirror to dazzle anti-dazzle if you like so this function here won't actually work anymore so it's, you know listen it's not a big dish deal for us we don't really use bell very often in the dark so we're not that bothered about it uh it was more important that the mirror looked great for me so it's just choices i guess at the end of the day price wise when i ordered it, it was 2021 black friday ordered it so i did get a slight discount of a few quid so i don't know where you can pick this up in the invoice but i paid delivered it was just over 32 pound uh, with the dreaded VAT and postage, so I don't know, 33 quid for a mirror that looks absolutely brand new. I mean, I've seen them as I said at the beginning of the video. I've seen them on YouTube, on, pay, um, on uh, eBay. Whew, silly money, 200, 300 pounds, something like that, crazy, and and not that good a condition. So this looks brand new now, so I'm really really happy with it. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed uh, another one of my videos, and uh, we'll see you all soon on the next one. Cheers, bye bye bye. <laughs>